Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to do a modified three needle bind off. Back during the quarantine knitting, I made this pillow that was from the quarantine knitting podcast that Arn and Carlos were doing. And one of the methods I used to put the pieces together was the modified three needle bind off. It lays flat and it doesn't have the pearl ridge on the back side like a normal three needle bind off does. I really like the way that it lays. So I have decided to use this technique for the shoulders of the sweater that I'm working on right now which is called Delft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like a regular three needle bind off. I have the front shoulder stitches on my front needle and the back shoulder stitches on my back needle. For a regular three needle bind off, you would put your needle through both stitches, wrap it and draw it through like a regular stitch. And then you would bind off after you have your two stitches. So for the modified, what you do instead, this is how I do it, put my needle in the first stitch as if to knit and then slip it off. Now I'm going to be purling the back stitch so I need to bring my yarn forward of this needle, the right needle, put it in purlwise on the back stitch, purl the back stitch, draw that loop through, and then draw that loop through the front stitch. And that is my modified three needle bind off. So again, I'll put it my right needle through the front stitch as if to knit and slip it off the needle. I will bring my yarn forward of the right needle come through purlwise the stitch on the back needle, purl that stitch and draw it through. Then I will draw that stitch through this front stitch needle. Now I have two stitches and I can bind it off normally. Draw the first stitch over the second stitch for the bind off. So the main points here that are different from the regular three needle bind off. First, in a regular three needle bind off, you're just putting the needle in as if to knit on both, both needles. You wrap it, draw it through and pop it off. It's a simple motion and it's very easy to do. And your yarn is in the back the whole time because you're knitting both stitches. With the modified, you're basically knitting the front stitch and purling the back stitch. And because you're purling the back stitch, you have to bring your yarn forward between the needles. All right, so those are the two main differences. You're purling the back stitch, and in order to purl the back stitch, you have to bring your yarn forward. So here we go again. Put your right needle knitwise into the stitch on the front needle and slip it off. Bring your yarn forward of the right needle. Purl the back stitch. Then draw the stitch from the front needle over the back needle stitch. And then bind off. Let's do that again. Take your right needle, put it through the front stitch as if to knit and slide it off. Now we're going to purl the back stitch and we're going to draw the front stitch over the back stitch and then we're going to bind off that stitch. I only have a few done so far but you can kind of see it's coming along. Here we go again. 
through the front stitch as if to knit, pop it off, purl the back stitch, draw the front stitch over the back stitch, and then bind it off. Through the front stitch as if to knit, pop it off, purl the back stitch, draw the front stitch over the back stitch, and then bind off.